Good morning, Hero Wars fans. An event to celebrate the Judge update started today. This event will follow the exact same format as the Lilith's Brawl event held during the Lilith update on January 19, 2022. In Lilith's Brawls, there was an event task where Lilith had to be on both the challenger and opponent teams, and this is the judge's version of that. This type of event requires a lot of playing time, so it's hard on busy weekdays. I know that some people feel this way, and I totally agree with this opinion. If the event is unprecedented, it can take a long time to complete the tasks for the event, partly because you don't know how to do it. However, this revelation of the Space Guardian is the exact same event format as last month's Lilith Sprawl, so just like last time, once you've decided on your physical and magical team composition, all you have to do is fine-tune your fighting style. If you haven't experienced last month's Lilith event or have forgotten what it was about, please watch this video again. You will see this image on the ending screen of this video, and you can easily watch it by clicking on this thumbnail image at that time. I'll introduce you to some of the products that Judge's store carries. In this Judge event, there is a store where you can use the coins earned in the event to get the equipment needed to level up your Judge. As with the previous Lilith event, I think most people plan to use this event to train heroes other than Judge, so those people should be interested in the products in Judge's store. Judges are magical heroes, so as you can see, the equipment that magical heroes need is lined up in the Judge's store. I'm going to get a lot of Hand of Glory and Law Mort's cards from this event. With this in mind, I boldly took on the Brawl Challenge, but today, the first day of the event, I struggled so much that I spent 100 plus 250 equals 350 emeralds. I tried to organize my team according to my opponent, but the judges were too weak to win as I wanted. Oh come on, this is unexpectedly difficult, I've lost 5 times in a few battles. At this point, I stopped thinking and started fighting with the exact same team composition as my opponent. Hmm. Isn't this a rather effective strategy? When I played with the exact same team composition as my opponent, I had a good record of 3 wins and 1 draw in 4 games. The video you are looking at is of a battle that was won, but the pattern of winning with the exact same team composition as the enemy team seems to be limited to cases where the enemy team contains a strong damage dealer. I mentioned earlier that my record against them was 4 games, 3 wins and 1 draw, but the team composition of my opponent, with 1 draw, effectively a defeat did not include a strong damage dealer at all. I was happily watching the battle scene, thinking that maybe I had found a way to attack the brawl, when I noticed that the enemy team didn't have a single hero who specialized in physical or magical attacks. What the heck, on closer inspection, this would have been an easy win if I had made Kark team, right? Well, these mistakes do happen, but if you fight with the exact same team composition as the enemy team, you will not be at a theoretical disadvantage. So if you don't know how to fight, one option is to fight with the exact same team composition as the enemy team. In addition, when I posted this video in the Japanese version, I received many comments from viewers that there are many draws when fighting with the same team composition as the enemy. As a final conclusion, it seems that the strategy of fighting with the exact same team composition as the enemy has a low win rate. If any of our viewers have found a good team composition for this brawl, please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.